folks, I'm uh, getting ready to launch. I know that uh, here on the Susquehanna, I know that we got rain coming in, but I'm gonna put my dry suit on, bring my rain gear, probably my big orange floppy hat, because it is gonna dump. Uh, but I'm hoping with this this storm coming in, we'll we'll catch a few. So I stopped by Susquehanna fishing tackle picked up the smaller money badger I know I have the next size up that's tied on um, that I picked up I don't know last January uh, down at dugout I'm gonna put these through the paces I'm gonna see if I can get a crankbait bite going I'll give it a shot if it's not working I'll slow down and use one of these new rods I got that Fenwick rod there with the um, TRD bugs for my slow presentation so it's always good to have a fast and a slow presentation let me get suited up let's get out there catch some fish so i've seen a couple boats launch already for sure are a bunch of them out there uh, all running out to the river but I'm in a creek I'll run up this creek Let's see if anybody is home Let's see what we can find put the magnet on the throttle push it forward here we go bites yet but I do feel good about how many times I've thrown this this bait and it not getting stuck I mean it'll stop on a I don't know whatever's down there but I always get it back like it's yeah you know, either I pause and it floats back up or I, you know I motor over to it and get a different angle on it and that does the trick so so far so good it, it does cast well this one has the whatever that weight transfer system it's a it's a heavier knock um, these are the ones I just got that are slightly smaller sized uh, I noticed they don't have that same one knocker that is a, a transfer weight transfer system that really lets this size really cast far so, didn't realize that when I bought them. Money Badger 4 doesn't seem like it would cast as far, but that's not what I'm throwing. I'm throwing the, the next size up. I gotta slow down, man. Slow that crank down in some slower water. All this water's moving pretty good, but I know I'll find that one deep pocket where you don't necessarily see it on the surface is slow but it's slow because it's it's deep underneath this is shallow i'm gonna keep moving the rain has started so it's time to put this camera in the dry bag and film the rest on the gopro i got so much new stuff to test out so here's a few first few casts with the uh, Fenwick Elite Bass. I think it's what seven foot medium fast. Yep. Put it in this bridge piling ready. All right, I've worked up as far as I can without dragging over, which. Never stops me, but I haven't even had so much as a bump or chase or anything. So I think it's time. It's 180. Run out to the river. Maybe I'll get in some uh, some water. that isn't quite so clean as it is here in the creek, which I think works to the advantage of throwing a crankbait. I know I'm forcing it, but. Man, 
wind has picked up and it got chilly quickly. Allegiant. Allegiant flies out of Harrisburg. in that drag. Right on that current seam up there. I'm gonna come off of the I don't know, jump. Come off of the throttle. Oh. Alright. I'm glad I got one finally. A pretty healthy one. Get you in there. Let's see. Looks about right. What's up there, little chunk? Do you think you found a little crawl? Yeah. I'll get you back in here. Just a second. All right. Hopefully this is the beginning of a pattern. I'll go ahead and get him back in. Do a little slow mo Instagram action. There he goes. All right. Really had to slow this this crank down to uh, just a crawl where it was just barely ticking bottom. Very slow reeling and. Felt like it was hung up at first, but then it kind of throbbed for a second. So we'll get back on that spot and see if he's got any buddies in there. So I fished a long time <laughs> before I got that one bite on the crank. And I know what the right play is. It's jerkbait season. Like it's, jerkbaits do really well. Suspending jerkbaits in uh, those transitionary periods was it's going from fall into winter and winter into spring and I'm not saying that they don't do great all winter long if you know what you're doing and fish them slow on bottom you know let them sink and then just settle down <clears throat> but the question is do I keep going with this crankbait and switch to something that's more productive or do I kind of really give this this crankbait its full workout. Is that going to come out or do I have to use a plug knocker? Nope, they're coming out. I don't know yet. But I just cast the crankbait again. So, there's that. I think the deciding factor for me on whether I switch over to the jerkbait or the crankbait, which I think I'm going to stick with the crankbait, is that I'm more interested in getting better at a certain technique and, and I'm I'm good at crankbaiting but this is different this cold water slow roll crankbait I don't know like it's a it's something I have not done a great deal and sometimes you gotta just pardon the pun grind through learning a new technique even if it's not wildly su successful even when you know Hey, there, there are, you know, techniques that are going to work better than what I'm doing right now. Um, the, the joy of getting good at something new sometimes supersedes the joy of, oh, I caught a bunch of big fish today. And occasionally you get both. You want to see both? <laughs> that thumbnail of that video says selfish. end of September 2022 watch it if you haven't trying some mid-river scrub island eddies here
So I literally started trolling. I'm gonna show you this rod tip. It's uh just barely ticking the bottom. Yeah, I think I got the right speed at about three watts, and I'm cutting across in the same line that I see these these ledges. Just not that pronounced and as soon as the wind gets up it's like it all disappears and you hope you're in a trench it's so wide open here but I'm thinking they're in those those deeper trenches where it's slower it's just hard to pinpoint them so trolling that was a definite hard smash on that ledge I was working my confidence in throwing the crankbait when it's cold. That's cool. I smashed it pretty good. Alright. Aggressive whack. And it loaded up. Such a perfect fish. Same ledge. Oh, that one wanted to jump. that you jumped. It's cold as it is. Mm. Yep, I'm getting a little bit of traction here. Right. You're fired up here. Yep, getting them. Get you to jump, man. That was special. Thanks for the jump, man. Try to get it in frame next time, it'd be even better. I mean, I should just be grateful that you jumped. Jumping small mouth. See you, guy. Don't tell your friends, please. And I put it just on the inside of that current seam. Drifting down. My drift is almost enough to keep it keep it ticking bottom. So I think we've come out the back side of this the storm. The sun's coming out. I actually just saw a mink on the shoreline there. Alright, this is the first that I've really put some effort into finesse fishing. I wanted to catch one on my my new Fenwick rod and if I land this guy it'll be yep the first caught on the new Fenwick Elite Bass. Nice crisp thump. Uh, this is what I'm good at. This is my confidence presentation and you know I can put put small soft plastics I'll let him go in those foam eddies again and again and again this is a, a, a TRD bugs 
on a finesse rigging bullets and have a day where I know I can catch so many fish. I mean, just one after the other. That's really not what I came out here to do. Sometimes you have goals that are beyond just, hey, let's, let's go have a great day of fishing. And my goal today was to get a greater deal of comfort throwing crankbaits like that in cold water. Um, and, and I've gained that. I've had three fish like that. Um, they've all been in... I'll pull my magnet out so I'll bump that. They've all been in places where they were positioned to ambush something. Two on that ledge, one on that corner with the riprap um, on the current scene. And it's, you know, it's places where they're actively looking to eat, right? Um, I can dead stick these soft plastics. In fact, I may go back in there just to, because <laughs> as soon as I do it, it works. It, it catches them uh, and it feels good. It's tough when you go and you spend, you know, I think I put in at one o'clock today and, uh, you know, I forget, I don't know what time it is now, but from one o'clock to my phone will wake up, 5.15, so, you know, over four hours in to get three fish. Every year you should pick something that is maybe not, not something you feel 100% doing. You know, you see other people do, you know, do well with it and you're like, I want to get good at that. And uh, that's really what it took for me learning how to jerkbait fish, suspending jerkbaits um, years ago. You know, I'd just, just bring jerk baits out and just say, I don't care if I'm not catching them today. I'm just going to throw jerk baits. Same thing with swim baits, big swim baits. But today was a little bit of that. Today was, you know, hey, I'd been down there. I know that Timmy Dixon and um, I think Tony Bryant nailed a big one on the new over six pounds cold water crank baiting. And, uh, I've caught them in like the low 50s, but we're not there yet. And uh, it's growth. Anytime that you you say, hey, I'm gonna catch them in a way that I've never caught them, or that I know other people are doing good catching them, especially big ones. Um, you gotta you gotta commit to it and it's worth it. It's worth it to have some growth. And I've had some growth today. I tell you what, I'm gonna put this away, turn back here cut the crankbait off and use the crankbait rod through a jerkbait. So I think if my goal was just to catch a bunch of fish today, suspending jerkbait is is perfect for this. So let's see what I got in here. A ghost minnow with a deeper diving. I'll give that a shot. they know it's there it's like they just they want it to be their idea you know the, the jerk bait like the slow rolled crank bait is a great cold water cover a lot of ground type bait I got one hook in him but I got it in him Hello, Chunk. Nice to see you, Chunk. See you later, Chunk. All right, headed back. Had a good day out here, uh, getting familiar with, you know, crankbaiting in cold weather, cold water, using the um, Google Maps to make sure. I actually haven't been out in this section of the river before, 
um, but I'm I'm looking at that and making sure right, which side of this island do I go to get back to that creek mouth um, you know it was a good day to experiment get familiar with the with the crankbait and um, you know I for sure could have caught a lot more just throwing the uh, the jerk bait or just throwing the um, you know finesse soft plastic bottom bouncer but I'm already familiar with those so it's important to pick baits that you you hear of other people doing really well with in certain conditions um, I mentioned Timmy Dixon and uh, you know those guys down on the New River doing well with with crankbaits in cold weather um, also kayak Kevin Whitley has been smashing big smallmouth all winter long um, on a crankbait so I just decided I got to get good at this this is something I don't know, really know how to do I'm great with it in in warmer um, you know warmer times but it's important if I'm missing if, if there's a hole in you know what I know how to do a presentation that I don't understand yet or I'm, I haven't done it you actually you can't just understand it conceptually you have to do it and today I got traction so think about it what are you going to get traction at what are you going to commit to and say i'm learning this presentation this year uh, that's how we grow as anglers and uh you know i know a lot of great presentations but i never think i know it all and i never think i'm done learning so pick something see ya